So we got a Christian lady and a Muslim have a heated debate about Jesus face to face in Qatar. This video went viral. This was years ago, I think. So this was not like a new video or nothing like that. But I seen it was on TikTok and I was watching a little bit of, of the video on TikTok. And I was like, you know what? Let me just find a full video because I want to see like all of what happened because the small portion of what I saw was really good. So let me see all of what happened. And I believe this is the full video. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I believe that this is the full video. All right. So I'll link it down below in the description. Let's get right into it. I already posted two questions. After the answer, you can have the next question. Okay. One question at a time. The sister has two questions. And I believe the sister is a Christian. She said that I said Jesus was a religious leader. I never said that. I never ever said Jesus, peace be upon him, was a religious leader. I said he was a messenger of God. There's a world of a difference between messenger of God and religious leader. A messenger of God is far superior. You have many religious leaders in the world today. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. And you said in your question that he is your Lord and your Savior. Yes. First, let me tell you, sister. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, which is translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslims and the Christians, we are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of faith? The parting of faith is that most of the Christians believe, including yourself, that we come to know from a question, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. And most of the Christians believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. Let me remind you, sister, I am a student of comparative religion. I've read the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. Whoa. Okay, first off, I'll say this. I didn't know that Muslims believed all of that about Jesus Christ. I didn't know that. But to say that there's not a single statement where Jesus claimed to be God is false. I can think of one right now. Before Abraham was, I am. Jesus was claiming to be eternal. Before Abraham was, I am. I don't know what more you want him to say. And that's just one example. But I want to see what she has to say about it. Because she looked like she was ready to go. Let's see what she has to say. If, sister, you can point out a single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, a single unambiguous statement from anywhere in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I, Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity today. I have heard you, sir, saying that. I am not times. speaking on behalf of the other Muslims. I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. There then, is not a single unequivocal statement. All right, are you going to let her talk or what? what? Come on, what are you doing? Let her talk. Hear my question clearly. <laughs> Hear my challenge clearly, sister. There is not a single unambiguous statement. Not a single unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. Yes, sister. I have an answer to that, sir. Yes, in the book answer. of John, the Bible says that in the beginning was the word, the word was God and the word was with God and the word became flesh. What I want you to wait, know wait, is wait, that. Wait, 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 nah, let her speak, please. Let her cook because she was about to go in does not fulfill my challenge at all. You, you name the book, I will give you reference. You are quoting from Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one. And the word became flesh is verse number 11, 12, 13. You are- Why are they clapping? He not, he's not even saying nothing. 
Quoting only the book, I'm giving you chapter number, verse number. I answer but, me. Wait, wait, the I'm, word became God. But what does that pulled, say? Sister, were these the words spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him? And the answer is no. What is my challenge? Not a single unequivocal statement. Not a single unambiguous statement. From anywhere in the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says. Himself says means that should be in red letter. There is something called as red letter Bible. If you are a Christian, you may be aware of it. Red letter means Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself said. Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 1 to 13 is not in red. I'll answer it. Wait here, let us answer it. First of all, you have not fulfilled my challenge. It should be Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself says. These are not the words of Jesus. It is the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. Correct? It's the word of a Jew by the name of Philo. And Sorry. never ever did he claim divinity for this. Yet, I will help you. What does it say? In the big, anyway, your quotation wasn't correct. I will give you the verbatim quotation. Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one says, In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. And the word was God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And later on it says the word became flesh. If you agree that the word is God and if you change word is to God, in the beginning was word becomes in the beginning was God and God was with God. Do you mean to say there were two gods? No, because let, wait, the word of God, complete. sir. Let me complete. Oh my goodness gracious. Is he going to let her speak at least two sentences in a row? You pose the question. You pose the question. I'm taking. You don't allow people to give answers. You are. You pose the question. I'm giving the answer. After I finish the answer, you can speak. You can't interrupt. Did I interrupt you when you were speaking? Yes, you did. Actually, what? He can't be serious. Did I interrupt? Yes or no? Now, oh. when I'm giving the answer, why are you interrupting? Let me finish the answer. Then you can answer. Is this, is this, is he a, a leader within the Muslim faith? Because if so, and this is how you're acting, this is how you're treating people. What, what, I, what is going, I don't understand what's going on. Where's the patience? Where's, where's the kindness? Where's the respect? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Somebody help me, please. Point number one, you didn't fulfill my challenge. It is not the word of Jesus. Your whole argument goes out. Yet I'm answering. You did not tell, you should say, sorry, Dr. Zakir, it is not the word of Jesus. Did you say that? No. You are not honest. Tell to the, tell to the audience, these are not the words of Jesus, peace be upon him. Am I right or no? You don't know. See, you're quoting and you don't know. I'm a student of comparative religion. These words are not spoken by Jesus, peace be upon him. Yet I'm answering. If you say the word is God, and if you substitute words with God, it means in the beginning was the word, becomes in the beginning was God. God was with God. Were there two gods? And the answer is no. I'll give you a third answer. If you read the original manuscript, the first time the word God is used, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. It is hothios. Hothios in Greek and Aramaic means the God. The second time the God is used, it is Tontheos. Hothios means the God, Almighty God. Tontheos means godly person. But unfortunately, in the translation, they are taking you for a ride. You go to the original manuscript of Gospel of John, chapter number one, verse number one. The first time the word God is used, it is Hothios, meaning the God. Second time it is used, it tontheos means a godly person. So it reads, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the God. And the word was a godly person, meaning a messenger of God. Mister, do you understand? No. This is called, you don't understand English. That's you tell me what English, I said is wrong. I'm quoting your scholars. I am quoting your Bible. You pick up any Bible of red letter Bible. These words are not in that point number one. You go to the Greek and Arabic. Do you know Greek, sister? Do you know Greek and Aramaic? Was the Bible revealed in English? Was the Bible revealed in English, sister? Oh my God. Okay, listen. Listen. 
I can't wait for her to respond. I don't know what she's going to say, but I feel like she's about to say something. Something good. Yeah, it was Greek. Greek and Aramaic. So the original word is Hothios. Do you know what the meaning of Hothios? Go home and Google. Hothios, maybe I'm pulling a fast one. All right, one. sir. All right, wait, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Hothios it means the God. Tontheos means a God, godly person. That means even if I agree, it says Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a messenger of God. Do you believe in that? No. He's, Why don't... Bi he's bigger than messenger. He's not just a messenger. It's an sister, insult to sister, call my Lord sister, a messenger. Sister, mm. sister, I asked We you will what... do something to prove something, sir. What first says that what you quoted is wrong. You agree it is wrong, then we go to the next question. I don't agree. That means what you said is it's not word of Jesus. That means you're fooling the people, right or wrong? Didn't you... you... You thought I did not know, correct? No, I'm, I'm not here to demonstrate knowledge, sir. I'm it here is not to the demonstrate question of knowledge. It is the question of Bible. You believe Bible is the word of God, correct? Yes, I do. I don't believe it is the word of God. Even though you believe the Bible is the word of God, I know Bible more than you, right? There is one thing to know the Bible. There is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because sister, he was hidden. And the work of the New Testament. One place in the Bible where G and, and Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to hear that again. Is the word of God, I know Bible more than you. Right? There is one thing to know the Bible, there is another thing to have the revelation of the Bible. Because you know, even when Jesus came, the people who did not understand who he was were religious leaders. Mm. They missed big time. Sister, they did not know who he was because sister, he was hidden. And the work of the New Testament. One place in the Bible where the un un unambiguous statement, unequivocal statement, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself, says, I am God, or if he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. Simple challenge. And you can't show one verse from this big Can volume I ask of you the Bible. Question, sir. Can you separate yourself from your word? Sorry? Can you separate Dr. Zaka and Nike from his word? Can you separate Dr. Can you se <sighs> Can you separate yourself from your word? yourself from your word but what difference does it make whether i can or whether i cannot you see you don't get it jesus is the word of god made flesh but word religious of... mind is too big for five senses jesus is the word of god and himself he is god the bible every, said he gave him the name that is above every other name every, which is the word of god every messenger gets the word of god moses was the word of god jesus was the word of god he don't get it. He don't get it. That gave me chills. Hold on. Let me play that back. That gave me chills. Can you separate, can you separate yourself from your word? But what difference does it make whether I can or whether I cannot? You see? You don't get it. Jesus is the word of God made flesh. But word religious of... mind is too big for five senses. Jesus is the word of God and himself he is God. The Bible every, said he gave him the name that is above every other name, every, which is the word of God. Every messenger gets the word of God. Moses was the word of God. Jesus was the word of God. Abraham was the word of God. Prophet Muhammad is the word of God. Question. So what is the problem? Which of every the messenger, messenger did what Jesus at this did? time is the word of God. What is so different about Jesus, peace be upon him? You the cannot difference. point out a single statement from your Bible where Jesus said, I'm God, or where he says, worship me. I have, and now I you're have quoting... an answer for that, sir. Since the, the beginning of the word of, of the Bible, till the time of Jesus, tell me any of the messenger you call who was capable to cast out devils, to heal the sick. Why? Because in the beginning, it was only God who had power to deal with the devil from the fall of, the, from, of man in the Garden of Eden. But these sister, things were hidden for salvation sister, of men. If a person takes out devils from a person, does he become God? Today there are many people who do rukya yes, and they I take out devils. The they because don't become I've God. Been translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. Today, sister, there are many human beings, even in Qatar, 
you have who can do rukia and can take out devil from the human being because that does they, not make them god does it make get, them god they got that power from jesus i cast out devils myself oh, in so the name of jesus oh, so you also become god now no i, I have been translated because of my faith in jesus the I bible agree says with you you listen, you, Jesus Christ, peace be upon you. If you read the Bible in the gospel, when he gives life to the dead Lazarus, he prays to Almighty God. Every miracle Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did, he did in the name of God. He didn't do on his own. If Same you would thing give the Bible me time, says. I will explain to all these congregations. Sorry, we don't, what have, is all we about don't have the time. You can hire the hall mm -hmm. and tomorrow give a lecture. This is a question you did answer not answer time. me. He don't get it. It's one thing to have knowledge. It's another thing to, to be in a relationship with Jesus. It's one thing to know the Bible. It's another thing to read the Bible. Being led by the Holy Spirit. You could read the Bible and just study the Bible. And you could know that all the ins and outs of the Bible. But if you're not being led by the Spirit in your study, if you're not leaning on the Spirit for discernment, then you just become a Pharisee. You know all the ins and outs, but then when God is standing in front of you, when Jesus is standing in front of you, you don't know him. She stepped on, she was, she was standing on business. I'm just going to say that. She was bold, unashamed, and amongst a crowd of mockers, for the most part, people who do not respect Christianity, people who do not respect Jesus on the same level that Christians respect Jesus as God, she held her own and she did not back down. And she was the most patient in that interaction. Despite being steamrolled for like 10 minutes, he's asking a question. She tries to answer the question and he just continues to steamroll over her for like 10 minutes. And she just sat there, was patient. But then when she spoke, the spirit flowed through her. That was incredible. That was incredible. That was incredible. Let me know what y'all think. Get in my comments, like this video. I'm out, y'all.